So I've had a few people reach out to me about how difficult is it to charge a system outside of, let's say, manual charge mode or test operation, and you know, does the brand really matter? And the answer is uh, no, it doesn't really matter. Now sure, there's a difference between heat recovery and heat pump, but when it comes to charging VRF systems, there's this one rule of thumb that you must always follow, and that is matching the outdoor capacity to the indoor capacity. What does that exactly mean? Well, that means that in VRF, we have the ability of matching a 14 ton outdoor unit with a 16 tons worth of indoor units or even greater than that, right? We call that connection ratio. Connection ratio is, is if we're at 130% connection ratio, that means that we're 30% over connected on the indoor unit. Maybe it's designed that way. The problem is when we try to charge VRF systems, whether they're under that 100% connection ratio, let's say they're 80% connected in uh, colder climates because the outdoor unit you know, gets derated in really cold temperatures outside. Let's say we're 130% uh, connected on a system, or let's say we're 200% connected on a system, right? 100% over connected. All of these things matter because when I go inside and I go and I turn down all the thermostats or I get on the service device and I crank everything down as low as it can go to get it to ramp up, if it's over connected, what's the system gonna look like when it, I go to charge it? What's well, gonna look like it's undercharged, right? And if the system is under connected, then it might look slightly overcharged. Remember, if I have a 14 ton outdoor unit, it's only going to deliver 14 tons of capacity, right? That exact amount of capacity it's rated for. So when I'm measuring VRF systems and I'm looking at the three pillars, right, that I talk about all the time, it's with the outdoor unit matched perfectly with the indoor unit load. So 100% connection capacity is what I want to be running at. Even if it is over connected, I turn a few indoor units off and I run it exactly that way, whether that's cooling, whether that's heating, or a mixture of both, parallel operation. Either way, 14 tons of cooling is 14 tons of cooling, and that's exactly how I should be running it to ensure that it is charged correctly. I match the load, I let it equalize, and then I measure uh, what I see, right? I measure the results of that, and, and yeah, I judge it accordingly, and I make changes based upon that. And so hopefully that helps answer the question. Now that isn't just brand agnostic, it could be any brand. Remember 14 tons of capacity on an LG system is still 14 tons of capacity on a Mitsubishi system. It's still 14 tons worth of cooling capacity or heating capacity. And so as long as you're matching them up one to one, you're gonna find success in looking at the three pillars that I talk about all the time to getting your system charged correctly. Now obviously give it extra time to settle out and VRF is a whole other animal when it comes to airflow and indoor units but at least start with the basics of one-to-one -one connection and getting it running at 100%. See you on the next one.